Okay, um, welcome to another interesting edition of uh, Teach Yourself Cookbooks. Now, in this uh, module, we are going to be talking about production. How do you enter production in QuickBooks? Now, you need to understand that in QuickBooks, you don't always um, do the main production fair, but the essence of this uh, module is for us to be able to enter what the um, the production department has been able to produce that the essence so that whatever stock reports they are generating from their end system can also record that so which means that we are expected to work with the person who is in charge of production so that whatever quantity of an item has been produced you can also come here to reflect that and you know that when you run production you are going to be using for certain raw materials or components so it means that when you produce a final product or when you produce an item the raw materials are definitely going to be increased because they might have changed in state or form and all that so in this quickbooks we are going to demonstrate how to assemble items together and how to record our production here so here i'm going to be using a typical example probably like uh, a finished product so let's let's work with um, something that is very very easy to understand okay let me work with um i'm gonna work with a laptop yes i'm gonna work with a laptop because the laptop uh, is, is an item that is assembled together now to do that the first thing you need to learn how to do is how to add your raw material the raw materials are like the components that you need to build the final product you know when we're discussing your setup inventory i explain how to add your item and all that I said you're going to use your stock part for item that you buy and resell, but it doesn't end there. In production, you also use your stock part for raw materials and all that. So to do that, you go to your list. When you go to list, you see list of all the from your item list. Yeah, you can, here you can see list of all your items. So here I'm going to do a fresh build up and all that now. But these are the items that already be existing on the system. So I'm going to add fresh items. And I'm going to do coupling and let's see how it goes. Okay, let me be more specific. Let's use HP laptop. So here, first and foremost, we need to add the components that are needed to build your HP laptop. So here, the first one, we click stock parts. The item here, you need HP screen. You need HP screen to do that. Then we we'll enter the cost. The cost of HP screen is 1,200. Then we're not selling it. So the account to track that is your sales account. Then you select stock info. With this stock info, you enter the quantity in each of the store. So we're only dealing with the head office here. 120, you click OK. Once you're done, you click OK. That's the first one to enter. Now after your HP screen, you go again, you click, then you enter stock parts, you select HP keyboard. HP keyboard, then you enter the cost, assuming it's 500. Try to sales how many of HP keyboard we have 50. Then you click OK. Then you click OK. Okay. Then after that, we need our HP RAM. So here we enter HP. Let's assume it's 16 gig RAM. So we enter the cost. Then it's 4,000 naira. We try to receive the accounts. How many? And we have 400 of it. Then we click OK. And click OK here. Then let's assume we also have our HP battery stock parts. HP battery, the battery is 5,000 naira. Then these are the cost here are the cost of buying those items because definitely it affects our cost of production. So we have 120 units. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we click OK here. So what we just done here is we've entered the raw materials as stock parts. Then the word stock part is part of the stock. So here you can see we're able to enter HP screen, HP keyboard, HP battery, and HP 16 gig RAM. So these are the components of HP laptop. 
so if you actually produce an item whatever item it is the first thing you need to do is you should be able to enter all the components all the raw materials that are needed to build that item when you are done then you now add the name of the item itself which is the final product but at the point of adding it you select stock assembly not stock part stock part is the raw material stock assembly is the final product so here you now enter hp laptop that's what we are coupling together so if you're done with that then you now enter all the components that are needed to produce hp laptop hp 16 gig ram one again we need hp battery we need hp keyboards we need hp screen then the next thing you need to do is how many units of h 16 gig ram do you need i need one how many of battery i need one battery how many keyboard i need one keyboard how many screen i need one screen okay we see so if at all you need two screen once you enter two two will be multiplied by this here you can see two times one two is giving us two thousand four hundred so that means this is the cost so here we'll only enter one so the system will add all these items together you can see total bill of material cost which is the total cost of producing this item so here we will now come to the cost we will now enter ten thousand seven hundred here so if you are to sell this hp we're going to sell it for forty thousand naira here <coughs> then we'll now track it to a sales account so another question is do we have this hp in store even though we're going to set up hp right now we might probably have certain quantity in store so we can say yes we have 50 at head office we have um, five at lucky then we have 10 then you click ok once you're done you click ok so with this now you've been able to set up you can see hp stock assembly now we've been able to set up hp as stock assembly with the components of that hp now that is the first step now assuming production sent us another report that oh we've produced another hp laptop we produce 10 which means the item component of this hp should reduce because if you are going to produce more hp well, it's obvious that they are going to be coming from this component so that means that the quantity of this raw materials will definitely reduce then the quantity of hp will increase now to do that you now go to activities sorry let me close this part again to do that you go to activities then you select build assemblies this is what you use to build your hp now what are we going to build we're going to build our hp laptop we select a hp laptop where are we building it at the keja head office here so how many units are we going to build we're going to build 10 we're going to build 10 if i need one to produce one hp that means i will need 10 to produce 10 hp here you can see that's why it's coming up there so I'm going to build 10 HP, which is this system will deduct the equivalent of this HP RAM, equivalent of battery, equivalent of keyboard, equivalent of screen. These are the quantity needed to build 10 HP based on the specification. I said I was going to use one to build one. So if I'm going to build 10, it's obvious that I'm going to need 10. So that is why I entered it here. So if production has built 10, and I want to record into the system, I will just enter 10. The system will do the automatic deduction from each of the components because I've already stated it when I was setting up this HP that I need certain quantity to produce one unit. So whatever quantity you want to produce, the system will deduct the number of materials that are needed to produce that particular quantity. So once you're done, you click build and close. You should build, if you, say, if you select build and close, that means the quantity in HP has increased when you go to reports and you go to stock you now see quantity let's go to stock valuation detail here now the stock valuation detail you can see right now the raw materials are all reduced by 10 all the hps are all reduced by 10 then if i go down to the stock assembly then i look for hp laptop you can see that it has increased by 10 to you know that so with that system will also help you to generate a report and see the movement of your stock 
oh what happens on a 16 gigram it was 400 oh, we use 10 for production which is build assembly what happened to the battery we use 10 and all that so when we get to report and um, we're looking at um financial reports we'll talk more on that so that's how to run your production and see the effect on your component which is the raw material and also the finished products and all that now as you may want to now do a transfer oh we have 75 hp let's do a transfer from probably uh keja warehouse to other location so you go to your stock you select transfer stock now with this transfer stock you need to say you transfer your stock from one location to another so here you now select transfer stock from the keja to your key then you now select the item you want to transfer so if you are transferring stock parts you can also select so here we select hp laptop here so quantity to transfer we have 60 we are transferring 10 so we select 10 here and click save and close when you click save and close if you go to your report stock quantity on hand by site you will now see that our hp laptop in your key has increased so when you come here double click on this you can see here initially it was five but we transfer 10 you can see plus 10 is now 15 so that's how to run your stock transfer and all that so with that you should be able to with this few guys you should be able to know how to run your production in quickbooks how to do your assembly how to do your stock transfers and all that it's very important that you understand this if you have a question to ask regarding production and that's again uh, maybe your, your 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 way of running production is somehow unique from the norm or the way we explain here you can always send the mail to info at accountingsoftware.com.ng let's discuss your production needs